Hi and welcome to episode 12 of Clicked in Fusion Tutorial. So today's episode we are looking at making the full screen look a heck of a lot more professional than it does currently. Enjoy! Hi I'm Chris Gilpin, welcome to this episode. So when we click on full screen, we're going to do that now, so let's just open up this episode. Now when I run in full screen, okay, so I double click and maximize or click the maximize button here. If you have a look, it loses its scrolling effect and actually it kind of looks a bit crummy. Part of the professional look of the game is that when I run, when I run it, it's in a nice sort of scroll, it looks professional, it looks nice, but as it currently is, it's not doing that. So we want to fix that. We also solve a few more of our problems along the way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an offset. Now if you imagine, at the moment our game here is the top left of the window. I don't want here to be the top left of the window, I want somewhere all the way up here somewhere to be the top left of our window and so we can create the scrolling effect with this. It will make sense, it will make sense. So what I want to do first is create a global uh, value. Okay, so I want to create a new global value. I'm going to double click this and say um, frame offset x. Now I'm going to be changing this all the way through the event editor so if I just set it here then I just need to reference this value and I'll do the same for this and if I get it wrong I just need to change it in one place rather than have to change it in every place I change it. Now I'm going to do a thousand for now okay so it's frame offset X and frame offset Y so I'm going to go to the event editor now what I want to do is do the same things as before but instead of it creating it at the loop index times the width, I want to add on the offset. Okay, so global value frame offset x. I'm going to add that on. I'm going to copy that because I'll need that for the y. So right click, edit, y position, and I'm just going to do this for the y. Obviously change that to offset y. Now, I'm just going to go down and look through all the places that I've positioned something. So all of this is fine. And it's probably this one here. So edit. Instead of the desired X, I want the desired X to be the offset X plus whatever we had before. Go to the same for the Y. So every time the character moves, it includes the offset that we've got. Okay, I think all well, this is fine, yep. Yeah. The only thing we've got left to do is change the position of the character. So the position will be whatever the offset is. We might need to edit that. Uh, because I don't think it is currently at zero, 00. So let's go back to the frame editor, let's click on it. And let's go to the position it's currently at. Uh, 9888. So plus 98. To plus 88. Now the next thing I need to do is go to my virtual width. Now obviously if there's a thousand offset it only leaves 281 pixels left, that's not ideal. So I want a thousand offset to the left and a thousand to the right, so I want to add 3000 onto that. Same with this one, uh, I want to add 2000 onto it, so I want to add 2000 onto this one as well. Okay, let's run that now, hold my breath. Uh, okay, it's brilliant. However, when I click right, it just scrolls right infinitely. So there's obviously something I'm missing. So let's have a look. 
Uh, side X. That all looks fine. Set current X to current X of the tile plus the movement. That all looks fine. I think there's probably an always event. Uh, let's have a look again. So it's starting in the right position, but when as soon as I click right, it's it's not liking it because I think I'm adding X each time. Um, adding that frame offset each time, aren't I? So let's edit that. I don't want to do that. I actually don't want to do that at that stage because it's all rooted from the current position of the active. So I don't even need to do that. I just need to reposition the active at the start. So let's run it now because I don't want to add a thousand each move. Perfect. Now, if I go full screen, I've still got that really nice scroll feature. Now, my issue is that it doesn't look very good to have the white. I don't think the white looks very good. So, what I need to do is I need to change the color of the background. And normally, we choose black. So, if you click on the frame, normally black is an unknown color. So, if I choose black and run it now then we've got a black in the background, so it's more of a mysterious no uh, colour. You could do a dark brown or something. That would work equally as well. Now, the if you have a look, the frame isn't actually um, reacting to that because we included these conditions here. Well, we can get rid of these now because we will never have that problem because the frame is much bigger than the screen can be. Now you might want to keep those in with the current restrictions of our 3281 and 2961 because some users might have very very big monitors that actually go above that. So if I control and Z, control and Z, problem is there's no way of testing this. But if I make that 3280 Let's copy that. And I can have this just in case someone has a super massive monitor. And we should try and keep our code all organized so that anyone can use it. Otherwise, there might be a user emailing you going, oh, I've got a super massive monitor and your game doesn't work on it. There we go. Let's run that just to check it still works and that works fine so now I've got this wonderful it looks much more professional uh, than it did before now we've still got the problem that it goes back to zero so if I keep going I can go back onto the map so there's still a few bugs to sort out and I think it when it reaches down here somewhere uh, it's kicking off that event that we created earlier so there's still a few few bugs to to zap, <laughs> a few bugs to sort out. But I think that looks much more professional, um, and you've got that sort of fog of war around your map. Um, so it looks like it's a really massive map, and there's just areas that you're yet to explore. So thank you very much for watching this video, nice short one. If you liked it, please click like. If you want to see more, please click subscribe. Thank you.